now that we have everything installed let's uh, fire up visual studio code now the first thing that we need to do is open a folder and uh, let's just say that uh, we want to create a new folder say variable working directory and no, we don't need to create any new folders just open it <coughs> now this is the typical vs code welcome we'll press f11 as well go to extensions and search for verilog and uh, when you search for verilog you will see that there are many options for a verilog plugin some have n number of installs the highest number of installs and with a good rating a proper repository <coughs> verilog sdl this plugin looks nice it works adequate the well let's install it and press the reload button once the editor gets restarted um we'll just hide the extensions and debug and source control let's keep the debug part right now <coughs> so this is our working folder let's press f11 just in case we need to use something from outside uh, we'll create a new file and name it and2.v we are doing a two input and get <coughs> and let's comment to input and get model and uh, in this model file we will model the behavior of a to input and get module and to we have uh, an input <coughs> as you can see we have code completion as soon as as we have proper syntax highlighting we have proper code completion when i was writing suppose input just as i write i and i can go on input press enter this is called code completion this makes the coding process much faster now we will ass assign y equals a and B <coughs> now this is the end of the module and uh, we have finished modeling our to input and get <coughs> now we need to include this to input and get in a test bench so we'll right uh, and to underscore tv dot v and uh, comment it to input and get test bench so how does a test bench work the first uh, we need to define is time scale for defining time scale we give a <coughs> right sided comma it is the comma that is available below the escape key and define time scale as time scale now the format in which we define time scale is Suppose we are doing one second and one hundred 
में दे सकें वॉट इट डज इज द लार्जर स्केल इज ऑफ वन सेकेंड एंड द स्मॉलर स्केल इज ऑफ हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड दैट इज ज़ीरो पॉइंट वन सेकेंड सिमिलरली वी विल इंक्लूड द मॉडल ओवर है there is a really helpful problems view which shows all the problems that could be with your code this thing is called linting no problems now we will start writing the end to underscore tv module this is the name of the module and this will not contain <coughs> any inputs or outputs we will register all the inputs and wire y that is the output and we will initiate and to with uh, and to i and to a comma b comma y so what this does is that it takes this and to dot v and gives it a b y and this a becomes this a this <coughs> this a becomes this a this b becomes this b this y becomes this y mm. now we start our simulation so initial now this is a begin end block and as you can see as soon as i type beg and press enter i'll show this way once again B E G and as soon as I press enter, I could type the begin end block at once. <coughs> Now we have a little bit difference from our lab at this step. Uh, we have the monitor keyword. In monitor, what we do is after every step or after every change, we print out this string sequence just. written just like it was written in c or java a equals percent p <coughs> percent p stands for a boolean i guess b equals percent p oh, y equals percent p a comma b comma y so what this does is after every step it will print out the difference between a b y <coughs> now what we will do is we will take one step but before taking that one step we will ensure that a equals 0 b equals 0 <coughs> and take that one step we'll copy that 
take the next step next step next step so zero 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 one one zero one one note that uh, since a is already zero we don't essentially need to write this part but uh, <coughs> just to make it look better i'm using it like this now after we have this much we have a dollar finish mm, that's the end of the code <coughs> so we will check for problems and now go to terminal in terminal what we will type we will type i verilog we will give the name of the output file <coughs> and give the name of the now see that we have a syntax error in line 19 so let's see what is the error that we have after dollar finish we didn't give it a semicolon so we can also see that there is a very good debugger over here now we will compile it compiled and as you can see we have this n2.out now we will run this n2.out and as you can see a equal to zero 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 one zero one zero one zero zero <coughs> so as we can see that this is the behavior of an AND gate to input AND gate but now we want to see it in the form of graph so how to get it in the form of a graph so for this we will use some reference <coughs> this is some sample code that I downloaded from somewhere someone's test there are two specific keywords uh, there is a dump file and uh, dump where's keywords that are used for <coughs> we can see there are two statements that we can write to dump all the variables into a dump file in which all the data is put and then we can visualize that dump file in the form of a graph using GTK web so all we need to do is this we need to after monitor we need to give the name of a dump file the name of the dump file should be suppose and two dot v d v c d <coughs> so this v c d is the extension for a very log core dump file and
in the dump variables we will give two variables one is zero which is the variable level and the second is this and two underscore tb module so all the variables under this module will be dumped into the dump file we will save this code compile this code run this code and as you can see we have an and 2.vcd file now this is the vcd file which we will try to now visualize in our files we will go to our verilog working directory and go to n2.vcd in properties open with you have to choose gtk wave for the first time and then every time you double click on a vcd file gtk wave will open and when you select n2 underscore tb you can see that there are the registers a and b and the wire y as soon as you append it to the workspace and press this button this button is uh, the button we use to use to bring everything to as you can see we have a fully working to input and get in which y becomes one only when a and b both are one and uh, the time duration is as you can see this is 10 seconds how, how is this 10 seconds and how is this this is the unit of one second okay and uh, the smaller unit as we can zoom the smaller unit is of 100 millisecond which is also uh, 0 0.1 second so this is how we could very easily code our n2 model n2.v we could then code a test bench that will use this uh, initial thing statement to initiate these registers and wires within the N2 model use the time scale statement to define the time scale use the include statement to include the model file very easily use the initiate <coughs> statement to initiate these variables to these variables and then monitor these variables this monitor statement is the reason behind this and then dump every all the variables into this file n2.vcd and run the code in this progression and we finally got a very perfect wave and thus thank you for watching this video i hope that you can now easily run all the very log code that you want at your home without having access to vivado or any costly id